Yo. Yo. I can't hear you. What you say, bro? Show just checking in. Yeah, man. You know, man. This shit small thing to a giant, man. You know we're gonna overcome this situation, but shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I had, head to the sky. He all right. We know we had the corner there, but it, it's all right though. It's a stepping stone, man. Yeah. It, it's, it, some great. Old, it's some more shit I'm gonna be talking to you about behind the scenes about it, but like, I think that shit just crazy. I just hit you. I was like, yo, I'm trying to put bro in the book. I had wrote the book. And I told him, get away though, but you know, shit just was going on when I, I we we weren't able to sit down right then and there, but yeah, we for sure, I for sure want to be a part of it though. Nah, sure, I, put, sure. I did, I did it, I did it. Remember, I had asked y'all like, I'm put um, I'm gonna put bro in the book. Yeah, I already did, did that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm saying it's what I was saying that's so crazy because, like, I was blessing, bro. Like, I was saying, bro, gonna, you know what I'm saying? He gonna turn it around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're gonna see how he can turn it around. Because remember the conversation? Bro can turn it around. They don't, they don't expect a nigga to finally figure that shit out. But, like, that's why I had mentioned how Baby had did the bigger picture and shit like that. Yeah. Like, they try to scare a nigga away from that type of shit. But bro, this shit changing. Like, it's too many niggas who fall into the system now, when they gonna have to sober. They got to. Oh yeah, yeah. They, and and that's definitely like the end goal. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely the end goal, nigga. Not, not yeah. We not just mislead all the way. But yeah. like I told you though, that pay got to get right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Before a nigga can goddamn, you know what I'm saying? You know, right I'm now. I'm already knowing. You know? that's that why I'm doing what I'm doing because I don't want niggas to have to do that route. Yeah, I want the the money gonna be there anyway. You know what I'm saying? But that's mm -hmm. why I just I just salute him for how he had came to me. So you notice I ain't never do no letter, no anti, none of that shit. Cause I don't know, I ain't know him about none of that. I just I just seen what I seen, heard what I heard. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I knew yeah. it had to be some niggas around him who were like, nah, I go to bro like this. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? But like. Yeah. Nigga, ain't nobody do that. So I'm saying whatever we need to get on it. We just like I said, I'm gonna tell you about some shit behind that. Like yeah, letters of recommend letters of recommendation. I still got that car. I don't do I don't do shit like that. Like I ain't do nothing with it. If I was gonna do something with it, I would've let you know. But I still got that car where bro like put it on record. Like he ain't even he ain't on no bullshit. He trying to get it this way, do this. There's yeah. certain shit that could help a case about. You know what I'm saying? When they start trying to pull shit out, especially they're going to try to refer to the lyrics and shit like that. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's certain shit that can help a case. You just let me know and we can get on that. Because like I said, just because he came that way, I don't got no, you know what I'm saying? This ain't none of that. No, for sure. For sure. I, I, I need to goddamn just sit down and, and chop and just run the game plan through. Like, you know what I'm saying? My, 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 my brother, you feel me? You know, he on the same shit with me, so, you know, he really, I'm behind him. You feel me? Yeah. He it, he can um, he can step past this. Yeah. And that's why I had, had put it in, the, in my book. I said it. But, you know, some folks, where I come from, they be calling me prophet and shit. Cause I'll say some shit, and then it be done happen. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Then, in my book, I was saying it like. You see that shit up there in the corner, that, that YP by my name right there? What about? Yeah, I don't see it. Come up. How we how we don't lie out there in the left hand. Oh corner. yeah 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 yeah. That's my logo. Oh, that's me and my 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 brothers. Like yeah. that shit stand. That's YP. It stands for Young Prophets. You feel me? Because that's what we are. So oh damn. So you know then you saying? already. You yeah already yeah know yeah, yeah. So yeah, then it's, look it's, then, it's then it's this just, here go the situation. Here go here go the situation. It ain't no nigga who can make more emotion when it comes to like fighting for God. Or like, even if it ain't on no Christian shit, that's why I was telling bro, like, bro, I ain't even no Christian, but like, I got a real relationship with them angels. I got a real relationship with them Orisha. I got a real relationship with who people call God, Allah. Like, that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna die behind it. Yeah. That's, I'm gonna live and die behind it. It's just what it's gonna have to be. I told like, it ain't nobody who can fight how a nigga who from that can fight. It could be a nigga who from the suburbs. He can do all that pretty talking. All that we gotta fight, we this, da da da. da. Yeah. A nigga who, you know, what I'm saying, been in the shit, he'll be the one who really gotta raise up. 
the nigga yeah. who didn't know nobody think God will use, he'll be the nigga. So like, that's why I say, oh yeah, everybody already know me. They saw I, nigga phase one, cause I had folks DM me and shit like, damn, what you doing? Like a nigga, you know what I'm saying? You talking about free this nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? We already went to war with the drill music scene. Da 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 da. Woo, woo. I had to let them know, like, nah, bro did this. Like, if 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 it were any other way, it probably would have went another way. But bro came this way. You feel what I'm saying? So because he came this way, that's his soul. Cause you, it don't matter what you would have told him. He could he could have still said hell no. You know what I'm saying? He could have still been on that and just not came that way. But because he came that way, nah, bro got his soul reach out. If his soul reach out, then a nigga who righteous, you gonna acknowledge that. Even if a nigga done fucked up, like a righteous nigga gonna be like, okay, nah, his soul reached out. You feel what I'm saying? Not kick a nigga when he down, mm. but do it like this. Okay, we gonna say free him. Cause like, it ain't no reach. They, they, I even pay attention to everything. Like, okay, the Instagram wipe clean. This is talking about a new start. Mm. This talking about, mm. a, I told him, I said, what? I said, don't forget the conversation. Whatever you do. I said, don't forget the conversation. I said, nigga, we don't got to do no feature. We don't got to do none of that. As a matter of fact, bro, before this live, I ain't never even mentioned the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Other than in the book. Yeah. I ain't going, like I said, I ain't make, I ain't put no post out, no none of that. It was just me saying what I told him. I said, same thing I said to you. I said, bro, I'm watching. Just know we watching. Like, what I mean by we is like, I'm not here by myself. I'm on a mission. So God right there with me. If we had that conversation, it was for a reason. So now get what get what God can do, or get what the source can do, get what the divine can do. They can say free him because I said so, and then they can put him in position and say, look, you are gonna still have the money. Not only that, we are gonna give you more than what you thought you were supposed to have. Cause like one thing about Shaitan, he he know how to put that shit in front of a nigga. But like why why is all the money shit? But then everybody crashing out trying to maintain the shit that come with it you feel what i'm saying go ahead i hear you go ahead no no i'm hearing you that's real shit i'm, I'm hearing you I'm, you feel I'm me like he really he got okay it can't be the same thing every generation bro it got to be a different thing every generation even when it comes to the shit that slow niggas up okay it might be some angel dust it might be some heroin it might be some crack cocaine it might be some jet crack it might be some bean might be some zan might be whatever but it got to have something every generation. Because, like, I had a song called, called Too Young, right? And in the song, mm -hmm. I was explaining to the niggas, like, either either the elders weren't talking to us or we weren't listening to the elders or both, right? Yeah. Or either that or the elders was talking to us and we just didn't, like, they didn't know our lingo, so we couldn't get what they were talking about. They, or they came judgmental. So we, like, y'all niggas went through the same shit. Why y'all coming over here telling niggas stop doing this? But y'all niggas ain't even made none of y'all self. And y'all were doing the same shit. You feel what I'm saying? Just how y'all were doing it for y'all generation. What's my point? My point is, okay, you had NWA. You had uh, like, you had all the West Side, East Side shit. You know what I mean? You had the land and the, what the land had going on. Then you had all these outside places and sectors imitating the land. And that shit got merged in with the music. So now here go what they done set up. They done set it up now where it's like they'll get a nigga who might really do be in some shit for real instead of going to get some average Joe off the street and making him be a thug. Yeah. Nah, they go get a nigga who probably got some shit going on. And yeah. they know the nigga got shit going on, but they'll still blow it up out of proportion. Next thing you know, yeah, he done made some money, but he done crashed out behind the money. So how you even going to enjoy the money? So here what I used to tell the niggas who be around me. I shot a lot of videos and shit. Nigga be don't, niggas on, on the same shit. I used to tell the niggas the same thing. We were younger, 14, 15, 16. I used to tell the niggas the same thing. Like, I fuck with y'all niggas. Like, this is why I'm doing this. I'll shoot a $50 music video just off the strip. I fuck with niggas. But one day, nigga, I said, one day, nigga, I have to switch this shit because my voice going to get too big. I ain't going to be able to be behind that shit like that no more. Even my little brother. Music. My little brother on that same shit. He on that, whatever. Okay, I try to talk sense to them niggas. You can only talk sense to a nigga so long. Yeah. But I told him, but he started listening. I said, look, I fuck with you on the music shit, but you know my my, my platform, I ain't going to be able to get behind what you on unless you just come over here. You nigga, you can do love music, whatever, motivation music, all kind of other money game music. I can get behind that. But it drill shit, I can't get behind that. You feel what I'm saying? So why, 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 why do I feel so strongly about this shit, bro?
because just like he said, hey, like he said, this is what's going on. I'm already knowing. I'm knowing. I'm saying though, they using that and they try to make even if we even if you go independent, they using the fact that they know the niggas really going through that shit and people want to buy into some shit that's authentic. That's what yeah. niggas want anyway. Okay, so they see this, they see this in the nigga like, okay, it's deeper than a nigga trying to put on a tattoo. You can look in the nigga eyes, tell what it done been through, what it done seen, what it done did. Okay, then the young nigga, like you said, you like, I know the young niggas behind this. I know the children looking up to him. Okay, bro, the money gonna be able to be made. It's just like, if every nigga crash out to get the money, it's either the nigga crashing out because he in the street or he done took the street to the studio and crash out. If we keep crashing out, we're not gonna be able to do the money shit, bro. So like, if enough niggas get on board with what I'm saying, like you can't think that these folk done laid off. Like it's still the feds, it's still the government, it's still the white supremacy construct folk be talking about. It's still that they just took on different hats, they took on different forms. Now they the music uh label execs and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Now they don't these interscope. Now they, you know, they still there. If niggas get on board with what I'm saying, take off. When that shit happened with take off, a lot of niggas came out and said we gotta switch this shit up. It took all them niggas leading up to take off, bro. But nigga to finally be like, bro, we do need to switch this music. Cause like everybody talk about this manifestation shit. Be careful what you say. Why would you speak it to existence? What you think happened when just my voice, I already know my voice alone done changed some shit. I know the power of my but when I put that shit behind like music, bro, melodies and shit, underlinks and shit like that, or underlinks, all that type of shit, chords and shit. Bro, that shit resonate in people's soul a whole different way. So niggas is speaking shit into existence. I get it. Cause like, don't nobody want to be in hell. That's why when he came to me that way, when y'all came to me that way, what I say, I say, oh, just cause you came this way, it ain't even finna be none of that. Matter of fact, I'm finna take down the post. Niggas should know it ain't nothing like that. Cause like niggas been sending all kind of threats and shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. It just, it stayed that. I did whole albums on niggas. But because a nigga came the righteous way, I was like, bro, this ain't even none of that. Let, now let me open this door and let you let, let you see what I'm really into, what I'm really doing, which you can really listen to my music and find out what I'm really doing. I don't want bro to sit in there about nothing because he took the time to hear God speaking. I'm not the judge. I don't judge. I'm not none of that. But when God speak, a motherfucker got to listen because it ain't no accident that a nigga will come to you, even if it's the old head that's on the side of the road trying to put you on or dad trying to put you on some shit. Cause that's God speaking through that. You feel what I'm saying? So because he had the ear to listen to that shit, like bro, here go, here go what can happen. He can come out, boom, whatever the hell, come out. And then now he can use his shit, flip the shit up, switch the shit up. Just like, it, cause he already got the following. Let me tell you something about this shit. Before baby ever did a little ba a, a bigger picture song, he had a following, right? Boom, boom. They always kept saying, don't nobody want to hear that real shit. Don't nobody want to hear that real shit. Lies. Lies. Because soon as a nigga do it, I remember niggas had that shit on repeat. Not no one time. Not you know, a nigga make a black power song. Nigga listen to that shit one time and say, oh, that was deep. They you wanted to hear it. They wanted to come from an idolized person. And a they, that's when they, nigga who they... Yeah, a nigga who they can really know. They really can relate to him. Yeah, listen, yeah, let me tell you something. That, that, go ahead. No, no, you know. I'm with you. That's when they listen. That's when they try to listen, try to tune in. That's why I was behind that shit so heavy, though. Like, nigga don't know. That's why I said in the letter little baby, I'm like, damn, it ain't never been no hate. But after a while, okay, all right, boom, boom, nigga, nigga got an inspection. Nigga know what's going on with the inspection. They come through. Now we got to have this shit straight. Even if we could have lapsed before then, we can't do that now. Because when they come through, they want to see that this shit is in order, okay? Well, here go what I'm saying. A nigga might not like that I'm saying we got to have this shit clean. Might not like that. A nigga have your brother, your sister, whatever. They might be like, bro, the nigga get on my nerve, keep saying this shit. Or he hang, keep saying this shit. Whatever. We still got an inspection. And I'm not the inspector. You feel what I'm saying? Because when justice start moving through like that, it's like you have to be able to hear God. That's how you can get off. I'm telling you the formula. That's how a nigga who can. You, you ever seen a nigga? They they seem like they got the whole they try to even when we was in school and shit. They'll bring a nigga to us, especially when you go inner city schools. They'll bring a nigga to us. He'll re, he'll really overdo it. He'll be like, I've been through all that. I did this. I did. He be overdoing the shit. Yeah. 
Because that's what they think niggas want to hear. But, like, notice they'll use niggas like that, you feel what I'm saying, to tell the story. I hope you get what I'm saying. To push nah, nah, I, I, I definitely, I'm definitely following. I'm, I'm behind mm-hmm. With you. Mm-hmm. So when baby did it, it's like niggas like, oh shit. They you don't you know a nigga can put on like they him, but real folk we know what's going on. Like we can see, oh nah, he ain't making none of this shit up. We can just look and just tell the shit. It's that yeah. type of generation. It ain't the generation where you get a nigga from New York with a Timberlands and shit trying to act gangster, but he wasn't really the nigga who nah this shit carried different, especially from Atlanta. This Atlantis is a whole different type of energy. So niggas smell this shit. We know what a nigga did, what a nigga did, what he on, what he not on. Yeah. So when somebody like Lil Baby come out and he like, and he ain't just doing no black power. This nigga said it's bigger than black and white. It's a problem with the whole way of life. You know what I'm saying? It can't change overnight, but we got to start something. Okay, boom. You can't tell me this nigga Lil Baby don't know what's going on then. All right, so then what that mean? This should open up the eyes to the world because they think we stupid in the hood. They think niggas dumb. But this is what I'm trying to tell you. A nigga become conscious from where we from, he'll take this shit further than a nigga like J. Cole, whatever the hell, them other niggas. And that's no disrespect to them niggas. But like, he'll, that's why, as a matter of fact, they were mad because like, they were like, J. Cole been talking about it. He been, to, oh yeah, but, but J. Cole, he can't reach certain places. He yeah. can reach, he can reach reach people but he can't reach certain places you feel me so when he when he finally did that shit i was sitting back i'm like like yo that's why i was right now even when they were doing the protest and shit i was leading that i was leading the protest i was playing yeah. baby shit i was playing baby shit when i had all the bcf movement all the came together me pastor troy we had niggas they tied they flat together niggas in the front one nation okay boom baby shit we're playing i got proof of all that so it wasn't no hate i'm just saying I was confused, like, why? Like, other than the fact that he said he's scared they might get him, I get it. Because as soon as you try to step up, look what they did to 21 Savage. As soon as you try to step up, start saying some real shit, now they ice, send you back to the UK. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then he got to fight that to get back home, and then he come back, people wonder why he ain't get on that shit no more. But 21 Savage from the same place I'm from, literally. We was on that same land. You know what I'm saying? We played together in the sand. This ain't no exaggeration. We was right there. The same right knowledge I got, he got. The same master teacher I got, he got. You feel what I'm saying? But somewhere along the line, nigga did this. And we did this. I believe so all we too. saying is, it's, it's just like this. I get it. I know how everything go. But just knowing how some shit go, that's not no excuse. I know what's going on. I know it's motion on my name. I know all that. Like, niggas can't be stupid. I know. But all I'm saying is, I just want niggas to come home. Like, it's a, it's a, a right cause. Everybody come home. That how it's supposed to be. Okay, well then stand up. We we not even talking about no organization shit at this moment. We talking about some your soul. Stand up. Give them their shit back. We want everybody to be able to come home. So I can say free anti because it's genuine. You know what I'm saying? Before that, when I told all the niggas who were from YSL, I said, look, y'all, I said this shit five years ago. I said, look, I said, y'all gonna have to calm down. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's You got to know how karma works. You got to know how this shit work, all right? It's just a choice. You could say fuck it and crash out, but y'all need to have to calm down because if y'all don't, you already rep, you pushing the snake shit, all that. Bro, the Matrix ain't missing that. Y'all need to have to calm that shit. Nobody want to listen. But I had some niggas who were rocking with it, like nigga like Slime, like Shaw, the nigga were rocking with the shit, and they'll support what I'm doing because they remember me from school doing the same shit. Okay, yeah. well, guess what? Sooner they came and wrapped everybody up, what I say, and this is like 100% true. I um found a way, got in contact with uh Slime Life. I said, you ain't finna be in there long. I said, you finna come out. You know what I'm saying? Cause you stood with me. Yeah. You finna come out. Boom. Less than a month, he home. This real life, all this is documented. Less than a month, he home. And I was even telling his girl, who I call his wife. I said, I hit her, I said, yo, yo look, I need this information. I need to find out what's going on with this, that, and the third, so I can move this, that, and the third. She was like, I already know who you are. He talk about you all the time. He said, you did this, that, and the third. He, you talked this, that, and the third. Okay, well, guess what, Slim? Soon the niggas start realizing I'm not against niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I come from that. I just, I wised up a long time ago. And I seen the whole, whole trick. So I'm like, bro, y'all the strongest soldiers. Yeah. Niggas who, who been through the most shit. 
Y'all the strongest soldiers. We get we get these niggas the right knowledge. We get them the righteous cause. Then the conscious community ain't gonna look how it look. The conscious community look down bad. Conscious community weirded out. The conscious community flawed fuck at this moment. But we get niggas who done been through that shit. They really soldiers already. Bro, just sober up real quick. And watch what them niggas do. They think we stupid. I say, you ain't never met no uh, uh, more telepathic or intuitive women other than the ones who are in the hood. A nigga who you think he's stupid because he's from the hood, he'll know some shit finna go down before you know some shit finna go down. <laughs> and he right. probably be so damn sleep. They swear the niggas sleep. No, this nigga, like, y'all both standing in the establishment. Boom. Okay, he get the peeping shit. He like, oh, nah, hold on. They just came in this way. He nigga came in. Oh, nah, boom, he gone. You standing there, you got all your PhDs. <laughs> they got all they masters and shit. <laughs> nigga smart as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Books and dictionaries in the trunk and still got laid down. And he, why, why are you so conscious and you couldn't pick up on the small, subtle shit? That's why I'm saying. I'm really like, I'm just being that voice and saying, ain't this the same shit our, our, our grandmama them told us? Like, we we pull to be strong black men. We pull to be able to, not even just the men, we got to get to the women a whole nother way. But like, if we can't even get the music scene under control and we keep letting these folk pimp us, bro, then all I'm saying is like this, I'll leave it at this. Whatever nigga think he pull to do me because of how I'm standing, then he got to do it. Because like, I seen, I seen it already. I seen what they did to Martin Luther King. I seen what they did to Malachi York. I seen what they did to Malcolm X. I seen what they did to Fred Hampton. You can't scare me with that. And they can't scare me with that. You're going to have to do whatever you think you're supposed to do to me about that. You're going to have to do it. But in the meantime, I'm just like, okay, however it go. I got a lyric. I ain't even never record the song. I said, if they kill me, I, I hope they kill me on camera. Let the world see what we became. You feel what I'm saying? When we can get this close to some shit, we can get this close. We got all these folks. See, bro, go, li anybody listening. Go back and just listen one more time to the letter, uh, to uh, little baby, uh, bigger picture song. Go listen to the little baby, bigger picture song one more time. Just go listen to it, not for just a vibe, but just go listen to what the nigga was saying. And you know, nah, he ain't he ain't just saying shit. Faze ain't just talking. He's saying he calling these niggas forth, not calling them out and put them down. He's saying, bro, remember, y'all niggas know better. So like, when, when we gonna sober up? And how many niggas gotta get locked up? You know what I'm saying? How many they gotta leave the earth? What when what's what's gonna be the shake awake for a nigga? I'm listening to you, bro. I, you know me, I talk for hours and I'm not even supposed to be talking that much right now. Kind of damn talk my voice horse and shit. But I'm listening uh, to you, bro. What's going on? You know the real one love when you talk that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that shit, dog. Yeah. I don't want bro to be in there. I don't want him to be in there. So you know what I'm saying? However, we gonna figure it out. Like I say. It ain't nothing but just a little, you know what I'm saying, mental work. But like, I just want to, cause he, like you said, damn, you said that same shit, cause what's so crazy, I just said, I said, damn. I was telling my mama, I said, damn, they done, they done locked on. And time she was like, then she said, oh, he, he gonna be able to think for a second though about the shit you were saying. Cause like maybe he couldn't hear me just, but, I, but look, nah, for real, I know he did hear me though. Cause like, nah, I know bro did hear me. You know what I'm saying? He just, you know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. So I don't want him in there. Like, like I say, I claim him. You know what I mean? Like he can, he can, he need to come on out and then shift it around. And everybody who with him behind that campaign, niggas need to sober up. Like that's enough. You know what I'm saying? And if they can't, then whatever. You got renegade niggas do what they do. But like, it's a different type of movement going on this year where they trying to use everything they can. But the, the voice too loud now. The green light out here now. I done taught niggas whole different sciences. That's why I, I called 21 Savage out, cause like, bro, come on. Like, I'm not the only one out here like me, but they trying to act like I'm the only one. And I know yeah. this nigga 21 Savage, mama them, you know what I'm saying, was right there with my blood people. You yeah. know what I'm saying, we was all there, and 21 Savage was right there with me. So like, he gotta be able to remember what he was taught too. I'm not the only one. They can make me crazy, they can kill me, do all that if I'm only by myself. But if niggas will realize, damn, we, we gotta, we gotta realize he ain't just phase, he he a voice of reason. So then no matter what they do to me, all right, we done created a whole nother environment where the shit keep going. And then hopefully, hopefully it don't gotta be no war shit, cause that's what it'll turn into. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it could just be
let him do what he doing, and then everybody be a general their own way. You yeah. put niggas on up in front of you. One thing I can say, like 100% respect, I already know that the reason why he got on that phone because of you. I'm already known, like, because even the way you came. And I appreciate you putting people on to the music because it ain't just music. This shit really scripture. You know what I'm saying? This is a, a, I'm writing shit another way. You know, everybody watching Atlanta, whatever we do, they going to do this shit. It is what it is. So then why we can't just, like, I'm just saying, bro, why we can't just do something different? Don't underestimate how big this nigga done got when my brothers be listening to this nigga shit. Don't underestimate how much outreach he already got. But you got whole niggas trying to come out and mimic this shit. You know what I mean? And I don't got to say too many names and shit, but I'm looking at all that too. And you know what I mean? That's going to be addressed. But it's like, it's like, don't ever forget. What I'm trying to tell him. So, you know what I mean? When you speak to him, just tell him I want, he, he, I want him to come on up out of there. You know, I, don't want, I don't want him to have to go through none of that shit. Just come on up out and sober. Everybody get sober real time. Like, that's what we need. I'm definitely going to relay that message because he, he, he asked me was I still tell they didn't holler at you about two weeks ago. Yeah. Hey man, what the hell, bro? What the hell, bro? Talking about you got that. You know, he, he definitely had no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, I told him, I told him, look, if I'm going to speak some shit, it's going to be true. Yeah. I ain't, I, I ain't had no issue with him. When I said I ain't doing none of that, I'll yeah. and, and I followed him. And like I say, folks might be confused. Like, damn, how, how he, you know what I'm saying, going to say free him? He wanted a nigga who drip. They don't get it. It's a soul war. Like it, God wanna walk God wanna walk us to each other. We weren't supposed to make that happen. So here what I'm looking at, you know what I mean? We got yeah. to be able to say that this shit could be such a movement. And this where actually here, let me tell you something. This where they, they really get to investigate. This where they really get to looking into a nigga because I'm talking about me. Because if you can reach up, so here what they here what they did. They set up a lot of shit. I ain't gonna be able to say too much. But they set up a lot of shit, right? Yeah. There was some niggas getting, like, what I say, I say up front and out in the open. But it was some niggas getting told some shit that I said or did that I never said or did. And it put certain business in motion. This is how the fans move. It's called Tell Pro. It put certain business in motion that is, like, almost irreversible because, like, it's a VL, right? So, so yeah. shit like that doesn't happen. When they see... Like, when they see niggas who fold to be from the country community and niggas who from the, who from the street community start doing this, that's when they start getting a little more nervous. You know what I mean? Yeah. It get deep, bro. Like even my nigga. Okay, one of my peoples, uh, Dwight Howard, right? Yeah. He hit me up. He was like, "Yo," he said, "Yo, why you think they? Why you think they coming at me so hard? Why you think they? Because at the like." At all at one time, they could start calling him gay, start saying he was into this, into that. He was doing all crazy shit, da 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 So he yeah. hit me up. He was like, yo, why you think they, they just came at me so hard from all these different angles? I said, nigga, look who you aligning with. Look who you look who you aligning with. You know what I mean? He didn't follow but like 300 people, and I'm one of them. They got their eye on this shit. You know what I'm saying? The devil's smart. He got his eye on this shit. So I said, don't even worry about it. I said, just, just choose to be the light. And it's gonna pass over. You feel what I'm saying? Good. So bottom line or top line, bro. I want bro to come on home. Just want to come on here and say free anti. You want to come on home. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I, I want niggas to get more active about like what we can do, like in these communities. No matter what, it, I ain't gonna be able to be too much out in the open because like that's just what it is. But like I can still move shit. I can still make shit move. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm gonna talk to you behind the scene. I can I know how to make shit move. When I told such and such what's what it was, it came out. You feel what I'm saying? We can make shit move and I'll be able to show forth. I'm like, nah, bro, on this. He ain't on that. He on this. I got proof of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That type of shit. I don't wish no bad on bro. Like he got so tell him, yeah, tell him I'm still tell him tell him God still walking with him. Cause I, I be listening to a nigga music, I listen to what a nigga say. You know what I'm saying? Not just what you know what I'm saying, the music, I listen to what a nigga say. Everybody, it ain't, ain't nobody who can't be redeemed. You know what I mean? And if I was on some judgmental shit, I would never say nothing like that. It ain't nobody who can't be redeemed, bro. It ain't nobody who can't be cleansed and 
one of the best ways when bro trying to figure out how he can get through them gates because I hear his I hear his thoughts through the night. He's trying to figure out if, if he can get through them gates. Let me tell you something. No matter what these niggas on, all right, all that uh, uh, approaching hell conversation, talking about niggas demons and shit, let me tell y'all something, all right? Niggas ain't never met demons. Niggas ain't never really, I'm not talking about no demon from where we from. I'm saying like niggas ain't never been in front of no demon. Niggas ain't never been locked in no realm. You can't get out. You got to fight your way out. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't never seen that. So all that hell talk, all that demon talk, nah, bro. You know who you know who behind that. You know who behind that. That's Shaytan, bro. He done made it be the thing that niggas say. No, all them niggas that's on that shit, they gonna have to answer to it a whole different way. So if bro wanna know how he can crack them gates open and clean that up, he gotta he, he gotta fight for God. He gotta fight for him. He gotta fight for the most high. He got to fight for the green light. And he got to be like, fuck with these folks. Because the closest thing you can get to hell is what? Jail. You know what I'm saying? And the closest thing you can get to, because folks think you're supposed to be just chained up. You know what I'm saying? It's some situations with that. They got chambers for that. But really, it's what, what take you through hell? Your thoughts. This. That be the hell. Because you can't drown it. You can't drink it away. You can't smoke it away. You can't drown it. It's just this. That's when niggas really go through the most purification. Cause all they got is this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. yeah. How, if you in there for three days, a month, however long a nigga in there, they that's all they can think of. So tell them. Like tell them God got his eye on them. You know what I'm saying? Tell them, tell them God watching. And not even in no negative way, in the in the most positive way I can push it. God watching. And God say come home. You know what I mean? If he can hear it, they gonna open that door, and he gonna walk clean out. It's gonna be amazing. You know what I'm saying? He can't hear it, then he, you know it's just gonna be between him and God. They just gonna sit him down. You know what I'm saying? But they doing it for him anyway because he listen. He listen. So he just gotta make a choice. He gotta just be able to hear God, and it ain't gonna be an easy voice, especially when you surrounded by demons. But all it takes is one of us, and, it, and I'm I'm that one. And it take one of us, and look how this shit starts spreading around. Where now, if you still on that, it's got to be a problem, cause we don't already cleared it up. We want everybody to come home. If you say you with us, then be with us. If you say you with God, then be with God. You don't gotta make no Christian music, really. To me, I really think the niggas who trying to do that Christian music shit, they really just trying to finesse. They trying to finesse another crowd. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that that ain't what I'm talking about. I don't want them niggas to talk about some Jesus shit and they music and that ain't even what they own. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. Because like I look at all that and I know just by looking at their lifestyle and how they moving, I'm like, them niggas not even really Christian for real. Like, and I'm not Christian and I know what's a Christian. And I'm not talking about just hop on the Muslim way because you see Rod on them doing it either. If that what you own, I'm saying come at, come right here in the middle. That's what I'm saying. Come right here in the middle, start moving the right way. Which one? Which one would a nigga rather do, bro? Would a nigga rather move right now and be like, you know what? I, I know I, I fucked some shit up, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna move right now. Or do a nigga really like? Do a really nigga be? Do a nigga really be knowing what they say? When they say hell, cause like one day you gonna have to atone anyway. One day you gonna have to. They gonna they, look. I don't have no vouch. I can't vouch for nobody. Yeah. All I yeah. can do is do this. That's why I do it so much. I talk and do the works. That's all I can do. After a while, your soul leave your body anyway. You're going to be judged. You know what I'm saying? And it won't be no internet. It won't be no COs. It won't be no judge and no black dress. You know what I'm saying? It won't be none of that. It's going to be the source and whoever cross over that threshold. And if you're too heavy, they going to give you what you asking for. You think you want to go to hell. You think you want to experience it. You too heavy. They gonna give you what you asking for. You know what I mean? But nigga, I'm telling, I'm telling you, they gave me the keys, I, and I can't turn it for nobody. They gave me the keys, the keys. I can't. I can put it in your hand. Look, they done showed me so much shit in this round. I'm not even here for real, bro. Notice how the longer I talk, the deeper the conversation go. Right? They, they done gave me so much shit that I'm already gone. Right, yeah, because yeah. all I have left is my ability to give somebody else that, and then what they gonna do with it? All right, cool. They they let me go to hell. They let me see that. 
It, it really wasn't nothing to see because it was pitch black. But they let me hear them people screaming. They let me go to hell. I put it in my book. I said, I want to talk to you about hell for a second. Yeah, and for some yeah. reason, it's coming up in this conversation. I'm just coming on here to tell you something. But then we done got all the way here. But they let me see this shit, bro. They Wait, let what, see. what did it say? You can't stop what's meant. So get away. You with me? Go there. It, 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 go there. It, it go there. You feel me? Yeah. Everybody who on here, bro, I fuck with this nigga right here, bro. Everybody who on here, like, y'all y'all rock with bro. Like, I fuck with him because, like, even how the conversation had happened from the beginning, I'm like, bro, this, I ain't know what nigga, let me, let me just say this off rip. I ain't know what nigga's going to be on. Let me tell you what's going on. I ain't know what nigga's going to be on. So tap in. I'm like, tap in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know what nigga was gonna be on. I, I, okay, boom. I'm like, all right, bet. I load up the shit. I'm ready. Like, okay, what's going on? I put the shit on record. I'm like, okay, what a nigga finna be on? Soon he get on, green light. I'm like, what the hell? It's just green light. It's just all, you know what I'm saying? It was agreeable. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, saw, I'm, I ain't know what nigga was gonna be on. But then I heard your voice. I'm like, nah, bro. He righteous. You can still be on certain, but you. Bro, righteous too. Like I can see the gangster shit. Like yeah, whatever, whatever. It's whatever. But nah, it's some righteous shit. So you listen to some folks along the way. You ain't just take your own way and just do it. However, so they showed me what I was saying. Yeah, you know, right? yeah. Before that experience, I was on some hell. Is just a mindset. Yeah. Before that experience, I was one of them niggas who was like, nah, hell, that's just whatever you make it. Nah, bro. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody who listening. Keep take this from me. I'm not even a Christian. That should mean something. It should mean something. If not, then fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Hell is real. That shit beneath us. And it's like different chambers they got. And each chamber is like a whole world how this one is. You know what I'm saying? Not no little block cell or no cell block. No, like it's a whole world just like how we in this world. So really, it's possible that we already in one of them hells right now. You feel what I'm saying? That's possible too. Probably why niggas they constantly trying to get out and they can't go no motherfucking way. You feel what I'm saying? It's yeah. it's probably like that. We probably in one of them hells now. But when they showed me it, I was only there for five seconds. That was long enough. It sounded like football fields worth of people screaming. And it seemed like they trying to like scream so so they like they trying to get God attention type shit, but they know he don't hear them. So it was like I put it in my book, I talked about saying like agony. You know, that's how they were screaming. It wasn't even like they were being tortured, really. But I think that that's torture, too. If you, you like, imagine you being in a hole and, like, you in the hole for, like, five years and ain't getting no uh, human interaction. Nah, most people would never survive that. Dr. Melakazi York been on 24-hour lockdown, right? They said it's 23-hour lockdown. He said it's 24-hour lockdown. He been in prison or locked up since 2002, right? But he said it's 24-hour lockdown because even when they let a nigga out the cell, he said it's just a, a cell that's a little bigger than the, the cell they let him out of. And he just get to walk around a little bit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But, it, but it's still locked down. He said this niggas killing themselves. You know what I mean? Every day, people killing themselves because they can't handle being alone. Like, just like being locked away. You feel what I'm saying? So that's how it felt when I heard them people screaming. It felt like they were screaming out like they was, like it was making them crazy. You know what I'm saying? To even be in that state. And you can't see shit. It was all black. And it was some beings that came to surround me. Right? I couldn't see them, but I felt them. Soon as I dropped in this shit, it's like if you drop some bread in the middle of some pigeons and shit. Right? As yeah. soon as I dropped in hell, because I went through seven different levels falling down. I was, if you know what ash, you know what astral projection is. I mean, yeah, I, I, I know. It. I can't counter it, but I, I, know. I know. Yeah, like when you be able to like Okay, leave your body. Yeah, and you don't got to take your body. Like you could travel different places with yeah. your soul. Okay, you ever woke up and you couldn't move? Yeah. All right. You you remember like trying to speak and shit and you couldn't talk? Yeah, kind of like like what they say. Um, and what they say in the hood, the devil around your back. Devil around your back. Yeah. 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 Or, or like the old old or the old head. You say being rolled by a witch yeah but yeah the devil around your back yeah 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 you know then so okay that's one of the ways that god show niggas like you got a soul because because how you awaken you can't move your body you feel what i'm saying yeah. if you awaken you able to see shit around you you should be able to move but nah your soul ain't reconnected with your physical body 
So normally notice it happen when you finna go to sleep or when you paralysis. Okay, why is it like that? Because when you go to sleep, your body is charging and your soul leave and go to different realms. That's how you dream. And then your etheric cord, which is your spiritual cord, it pull you back to your body after your body done charging. Or if somebody done made a noise and it is loud enough to wake you up, you get pulled back to your body to dream in, and now you come back here. So if you come back to your body and you ain't able to move, you feel what I'm saying? That's God showing you, like, look, you got a soul. That's where niggas get familiar with astral projection. That's one of the ways niggas get familiar with this shit. My point is, I would never have been able to go down into the levels of hell with just my physical body. It ain't permissible. You feel what I'm saying? You can't go through them doors as a flesh human being. But they when I astral projected, they let me go down there and see that shit. So, all right, this happened in like 2020. All right? So when I came back, here go what the point is. I came back. I was like, damn, man, what about all them people? Nah, first I made a joke. First I was like, man, I would have been mad as hell, right? Then I laughed at the shit, kind of like I'm saying hell and shit. And then it was like, all that funny shit passed over. And I was like, wait a minute, that's a lot of damn people. So, okay, boom. It slipped, sound like we in the church. I'm telling y'all my testimony, but still. That's when it was like, okay, it got more about saving souls than just teaching niggas, right? So I had, had to find a way to teach what I was teaching to lead niggas how to save their soul. Because if you would, if you could experience it, you would be like, you don't want nobody to have to, like, for them to be there for however long they got to be there in that much chaos, in that much, you know what I'm saying, turmoil, you don't really want nobody to experience that shit unless you're just a dark person. You know what I'm saying? The deepest hell that you could think of, unless you've been in the presence of it, that ain't what it is. So you wouldn't want nobody to have to go through that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So what I'm doing? All right. I sacrificed my life. And I did I made this I made this choice a long time ago. But I sacrificed my life. I put myself on the cross and say, I already know what I'm doing gonna probably get me, you know what I'm saying, removed from the place. I'm already knowing. And it's gonna be government. Or niggas, one of the two. All right, I know it's possible, but in the meantime, green time, I'm gonna talk to everybody. So, be like, look, you can't do me no harm. I already seen where people going, and everybody with sleep paralysis. You should know, people who experience sleep paralysis, you don't just wake up and you can't move. Sometimes, look at what you say. You say the devil around your back. Look at what you saying. Why do you think people said that? Because some folks done experience literally where they getting choked out. You know what I'm saying? Some folks say they get probed and shit. Some folks wake, waking up with scratches. Who mm -hmm. who are these beings? Who is these demons that as soon as a motherfucker come through here and they get trapped in that state, they get to sit on a nigga uh, chest and shit or grab a nigga by their neck and take away their energy from their... It's all about adrenaline. So they get to latch on to a nigga and take their adrenaline. Who Who made them? Oh, I heard God, God made them. And I heard they come from a place too. They call hell. And when you in that state crossing over, you right next door to hell and you right next door to lead it's a vortex and lead up out of earth. That's what they call heaven. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you see how deep this shit go? I can't just be no, oh, this nigga just rapping. I can't just be no, oh, he just writing books. No, bro, I'm I'm giving my whole soul up. Like this this is what it is. Like I'm I'm pouring my whole soul into this shit saying look same thing the quran was saying like yo save yourself and your family from a, a fire whose fuel is people and stones you know what i'm saying they showed me that in real time like save yourself from that and then what come okay then heaven on earth come because then you start realizing that your whole purpose after that is bringing order back to the planet. It can't be no one man job. If it was a one man job, I wouldn't be screaming, losing my damn voice. I just do it. If it was a one man job, I wouldn't be making music. I would have just done whatever the fuck needed to be done. No, I'm doing everything I can to reach people. So like, I don't take nothing for granted. That conversation, same way I told him, I say, remember that conversation, right? I remember the conversation. Yeah. And I done had that same conversation with a whole lot of people. Go ahead. And I'm going to read something to you before we get up out of here. No, I said I remember it too. 
You know what I mean? That's how a nigga can know. Okay, can't nobody tell my story after I'm gone. But folks can remember shit. Like, nah, bro got on the phone with us. That's how it will be. People gonna have interviews and shit. They gonna be saying shit. Like it's a lot of people. And y'all want y'all a part of that group now. Well, y'all gonna be able to bear witness and say, no, he went on no bullshit. Cause like sooner we came righteous. He he opened the door, he wasn't on that. Yeah. If it was some bullshit. I was like, hell nah, fuck that nigga. Da, 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 da. It's a letter on the way. That's what I'm saying. Whatever. And I know how that shit would have turned out. It could have, you know what I mean? It would have made nothing better. That shit would just, it would have just probably made shit worse. But either way, it's a righteous cause. And I'm not the first person that said that shit. Jesus said the shit. You know what I mean? Muhammad said the shit. Everybody's saying the same thing I'm saying. So when you say, we say young prophet or you prophets, is young prophets? Yeah, young prophets is what it is. I don't know how I missed that. I don't know how I ain't see that. I see, yeah. yeah seen the logo, but I don't know how. See, that's why I know it ain't no accident, though. Because you could have called you could have called it anything, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of money, power, respect, it's money, power, and knowledge. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Why, um, why you, why, what made you come out with the, um, the young prophet? Shit. It, it really was. It really was my little brother, right? So that yeah. was his name. He did, He was young prophet, but uh -huh. we made it into a movement and got them. So I came up with the slogan for it. You feel me? And we just made his name into a YP, and we just put the S on the end and called ourselves Young Prophets because it. We we trying to learn so much and we know so much. We feel like you feel me as street niggas and beyond street niggas. You feel me? What a nigga trying to go? What a nigga want to know? Like it's like, like you say, whether the elders were talking to us or whether we was listening, I feel like they was talking to us. You feel me? I feel like all our people ain't just been saying the same shit for all these years. Like, yeah, this shit got to be. It got to be something like okay. Cause I I learned a lot of little shit too coming up. You feel me? Even though I was in the streets, yeah. but it's like if I'ma listen to any other race, why won't I listen to my own fucking people? Like what 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 what's going on? Why why can't I listen to my people? Why why they what they not preaching out and trying to spread? How that's not true? Like that shit. That, so they made me just dig even deeper in, into that shit. You feel me? Just something in me made me dig deeper into that shit, but I don't know. We we made that shit a movement, bro. Get away. My little brother died. Mm. So we're like that escrow projector shit, like I know how I am and, and people know how I am, right? But when my little brother died, bro, that night, I smoked a blunt and laid back on the bed and get what? I, bro, I went out of this world, bro. It's like, yeah, he came to me. I, I You know, I'm, I'm ready to tell that motherfucker up. But he laughing and shit, bro. You just died, bro. He laughing, bro. Get your ass up. Like, you feel me? Tripping. I can't say nothing, but he grabbed me. So, you know, my girl wake me up. Oh, what the hell? You out here swimming? I ain't even, I wasn't even just sleep, though. I'm telling her, like, it's like, bro, I couldn't even be mad. I couldn't cry from that day forward. So, you know, you know, I'm the one who had to go in there, take my barber. Get him a haircut, make sure it clothes on. Yeah, yeah, that shit, right? I'm in there with everybody in in, in the morgue and shit. You feel me? I'm the one who had to put the funeral together. People don't understand that. You know, people like damn, bro. How the hell at the funeral and shit? You you won. I don't know. I don't know what happened that day, but I know something did happen. You feel me? I'm the one who had to carry the family, so I, I know that was some little extra shit. That shit was weird though, but I I experienced. I felt that shit. And that shit changed me from that day. That was 2019. Mm. Like, but and, and this is what this what we came up with. This is what we stand on though. That young prophet shit. That's that, that's behind little bro. What's your brother's name? His name was his name was Young D'Angelo though. D'Angelo. D'Angelo. Yeah, D'Angelo. You ever noticed that? You say what? You ever noticed that? What? Angelo. The angel. The angel. Right, cause you call a young prophet. Look, I I hate hearing that. You know what I'm saying? I also yeah. love hearing what you can say about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I had okay, this wasn't my biological brother, 
right? Young nigga called Junior. You know what I mean? He was, he, he wasn't in he wasn't in none of the shit everybody was in. He, he you know he always tried to talk to, to a nigga too. He was younger than everybody. You know what I'm saying? As soon as he yeah. leave, he came he came to me too. We was we was in Iraq in the in a dream. It was a dream. We was in Iraq. He told me what they did. It was it was a uh some some paramedics. They did it to him. You feel what I'm saying? And then yeah. he was smiling too. And then he walked on up. I was able to pass on that message. Why am I saying this? I done met a lot of people as they were crossing over. They come to me. You know what I'm saying? They talk to me. They laugh with me. Right? Anytime you see somebody in good spirits like that, bro, they weren't really here. They were they was a, they was an angel that came here. You feel what I'm saying? Or projected here. But they being wasn't really here. They were yeah. walking through there. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you this. I'm not really here. All right? I'm walking through here. Uh, like how Tupac wasn't really here. He was walking through here. So when we yeah. leave, that's when people really understand what we, like, why we was here. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. What yeah. you found with your brother, bro, it didn't just set you in a in order while you here. He actually lined you up. Like he came and lined you up etherically, which means spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To walk with him when your work done. Which means you got a little ways to go, but you close to finding out who you are. You know yeah. I'm saying? Like what's your what okay, D'Angelo, what's your name or your tone? If you don't mind. Sylvester. Sylvester, okay, I don't remember what that means. Right, but I can look into it. But like, okay, Sylvester, the first thing I see is silver, right? And the silver cord, you might want to go look into that. They they spoke about the silver cord in the biblical scripture, right? And I just was speaking about it. The silver cord is like the etheric or spiritual cord that keep you connected to what you call God, right? Yeah. As soon as we're born into this world, they want to sever it. They want to cut it, right? That's the umbilical cord. Soon they come, soon we come into the world, they cut the umbilical cord. Boom, right? There was yeah. a spiritual connection that manifested as that umbilical cord, right? Signifying that you still connect to the vine through your mother. That's why the umbilical cord looked like a vine, because that's divine. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We also got an etheric cord that keep us connected to get up out of here, right? How do they get us to sever it? If you become too heavy, it can't lift you. It can't pull you. You know what I'm saying? Just like if you call in uh, uh, rescue and they try to put you on that cord and yeah. try to pull you up out, if you're too heavy, you can't get up out. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So your, your brother lines you up for spiritual success, bro. I'm, I'm grateful that you shared that with me because it's a good thing. You know what I mean? And notice that when we first started talking, it just so happened that I mentioned sleep paralysis. I didn't yeah. I know you went through that. Yeah. And I didn't know. Yeah. And that has something to do with your brother, Young Prophet, mm -hmm. who is a Young Prophet. You know, okay, because if you know anything about the prophets, they call it the Ambia, all right, or any Nevi or Prophet. When we leave, we don't die. You know what I'm saying? We don't experience death. They say that in, even in, in El Quran or the Quran. They say, yo, don't say that our prophets have died. You know what I mean? We've taken them up. Okay? People may not understand it. They perceive not that we take them up, but don't say that we die. So, that young prophet, okay, D'Angelo, uh, there was a reason why we had the conversation about sleep paralysis, because he wanted you to remember that moment. You know what I mean? Like, he wanted you to remember that. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said, get up. Why, what, tell me a little bit more about that if you don't mind. What do you mean? He said, he said, get up. Was he saying, get up, like, psychologically, he's saying, really, like, literally get up, like, get up out the um, paralysis? Man, it was, uh, bro, I think it was the... What I what I was going to do, what I was going oh, to you, do, because I went, I, I went home. I went home to get that shit together and get yeah. what? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We finna work it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I went home to do. Mm -hmm. I smoked me a blunt. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I, bro, get what? It's like I was, I was when, when he came to me, I was in the living room, though, but I'm upstairs in my room by myself, yeah. But I don't know what the fuck happened, bro. But I know mm -hmm. I was mad, and I'm still trying to tell him. Like, only thing I can say, bro, like, you feel me? 
on, on that ain't hot. Like, what the fuck you mean? Like, bro, I'm trying to, I'm, I really want to cuss him out. I'm, I'm blow. I'm going to go out the door. I'm telling him, like, what the hell you mean? Let's do it. Like, you tripping. He yeah. just laughing. Yeah. Man, get up. Grab my leg. Like, like picture me, like, from land, just yeah. laying like this on the sofa. Yeah. I'm scrapped up and shit. You feel me? You come yeah. playing. Grab my leg, bro. Get up, bro. God damn, man. You tripping, man. Come on, get up. You tripping. That's all he's saying. Though, you feel mm -hmm. me? I don't know. But Wait, I didn't did you that angry after that? Moment, yeah, bro. did you see? Did you see him in, in any attire that you remember? Like, do you remember him having anything on? He was just with fresher hair. Shit, just how we be. He just he was just he would clean the hair. But we was in our spot though in the living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was at the spot in the living room, and he just I don't know, bro. But I don't know. I'm the he want he wants you to he just wanted you to go back he just wanted you to remember that bro i don't know why i can't i can't tell you that i can't tell you why but yeah he said he he wanted you to remember that because like it's, it's certain things about that that only you will know and only you will remember you know what i'm saying unspoken things you know what i mean he wanted you to remember that you know what i'm saying yeah. that's good though the laughter that's good so they say it's a seat for you it's a seat for you but not even but and okay yeah, yeah you all have to do the works it ain't over that's why you that's why you told him to reach out to me you know what i'm saying yeah. because it's it's like okay what were the eyes another thing you pay attention to what were the eyes that i didn't even know i had heard the name i matter of fact some of the females that i used to be around like were rocking his shit i used to see the shit on the stories and shit yeah. right his songs i still didn't know to put a name to it, right? Yeah. The um, um I got I'm I'm getting some I'm pulling some through my bad because when it happened like that it be it be pulling through. But yeah, I didn't I did what was the odds of that? I didn't there's something coming through too, bro. I'm gonna let it come through when it come through, right? Yeah. The what there are no odds that I didn't even know who he was, and he made a post and he was rapping, rapping his shit. He going out doing his shit. And I got under the post. What I say? I said shit like, <laughs> okay. I don't, let me see what I got. My niggas, I, I'm throwing out too. But hold on, let me see what they, <laughs> I say. Hold on, I'm about to go. Cause I had got the shit. What do you call it? I screen record. I not screen. I, I screenshot all the shit. Let me see. Cause what's the eyes of it? All right, here we go. Now nah, I don't got this shit. Oh yes, I do. Okay, so he had did the thing. He was like, oh damn, that shit froze up. I said, yeah, I said, um, you must not got the memo, right? I said, you must not got the memo. We ain't doing no more drill music, right? Yeah. Keep in mind, I don't know him. We ain't had no conversation. He's just another one of them niggas who I'm going to have to step to. And then God handle the rest. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So what did it say? I say, yeah, I say, you, you ain't, I say, you must ain't get the memo that we ain't doing no, we ain't doing or tolerate no murder. 